Um, I suppose the... Uh, you're, what? You're, we're going to be returning live. Yes, you're coming back live. Um, first of all, what shows will you be doing? Well, we're doing a week here. Uh, five nights, anyway. And uh, we do five nights in Cologne, in Germany, and then five nights in Paris. And um, then I'm going to have a lie down. Yes, good <laughs> idea. But that's as far as we've got so far. You know, I mean, it's just... I, brought, I was brought up old school to think that when you... Uh, when you went on tour, it was like going to war. You know, you know, you didn't wasn't quite sure when you were ever going to come back. Um, now it's a little bit different, so we're doing three weeks. So this is all in June next all year. All in June. It's going to be at the Albert Hall and in Paris and in Cologne. And I mean, you haven't toured since two thousand and seven, and then you after that you said you were going to retire. What's what's made you change your mind and want to come back to? Well, tour? actually, uh, in the first final farewell tour, which was in two thousand four five. That was meant to be me stopping. We did do the 2007 Genesis reunion tour because I think, I certainly felt, and I think the other guys would agree, that we never really said goodbye properly. You know, it kind of, after I left it, you know, they, they did an album and it kind of fizzled out a little bit. So to go back out there and do, and say goodbye properly, that was why we did the reunion tour. But I've been trying to stop the oil tanker since, 19, uh, since 2005. Mm. It took a while. Um, I was also doing uh, the Broadway musical. You know, that was, was something that was very exciting for Disney and something very different, which has, of course, appealed to me. But, um, yeah, I, I, I retired. Uh, retired, it's a, it's a kind of a funny word, retired. Stopped work because I wanted to be a dad at home. And uh, as bad luck would have it, as soon as um, I retired, uh, my family, uh, you know, we, we, we split up. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't have anything to go home to, really. And um, that's when I started drinking. And uh, that's all in the book. Mm. But, um, yeah, I just... Uh, I mean, in terms of why I changed my mind, I think that's what it is. I mean, I, I, this retirement, coming out of retirement, I, I've changed my mind. I've got, I'm living with my young kids, and they want me to go out on the road to do some new things, and, you know, it's, there's no reason why not. And what will you be, uh, um, will, your, will, any, will your family be playing with you on the stage? Yeah, Nicholas, who's 15 now, he's a fantastic drummer. I mean, my oldest son, Simon, is, is also a fantastic drummer, you know, but he has his own career and, uh, you know, uh, he's got his own, you know, very um, firm views about what he wants to do. Nicholas is in, you know, the learning stage and he's already a fantastic drummer. We did three shows in Europe this year, charity shows. And uh, and he played, and he was fantastic. All the band were very impressed. So he'll be going out with me, and he'll be 16 by the time we do this. And so, and so do you, will, what, will you be playing the piano more, or, or just singing? What will you, how will you be? I think doing? I'll be just singing. Um, Nick might play piano on something. Uh, but I think I'll just be singing. I mean, I'm, I've, I've got a drum kit in the garage, and... I will be getting to that to see if I can play da da and da da and da da and da da and da da, you know, if I can do in the air. Yeah. And that would be something that I feel I should do. One of the most noted uh, drum intros uh, uh, or drum pieces of all time, really. So I think it would be good if you could. You, is it physically okay for you to play? Yeah, it's just that, you know, I play with my fingers, you know, like a lot of the time. I mean, d different drummers play different ways. But I play, a lot of it comes from dexterity with fingers, you know. And that's the thing that have, has clammed up over the last few years. So it's just a question of getting strength back in, back in those fingers and, uh, and doing it. And the tour um, is going to be called Not Dead Yet. Um, and that's also the title of your book, isn't it? Yes. In fact, not dead yet live. <laughs> not dead yet live, a bit. Um, yeah, well, you know, uh, it's the translation of this title, of course, where by the time you get into Polish and, 
and Czechoslovakian and German and French and Spanish. It loses a bit of the humor, mm. I have to say. <laughs> but it is, you know, English humor, a bit Python-esque. And, uh, not um, dead yet, live. Not dead yet, live. Work that one out, you know. Um, so, yes, we, I, I decided to call the book that because a lot of us been made of my health. Um, and also because there was some still, still some things to do. Mm. So it was more like, not dead yet, still got things to do. Was it an enjoyable process doing an autobiography as well? Because no. it's all coming out at the same time. You've had to look back at things. Did you enjoy that, that looking back? Yeah, I mean, uh, as I said to you a little earlier, you know, I, I don't really want the book to be lumped together with the reissues because the reissues was just a different idea. And the singles thing, there's a, there's a big, you know, multiple CD thing of all the singles, hits and the misses. Um, it's just a complete collection of all the singles. And that kind of tops off the, the year of the reissues with the new covers and the extra CD each time. But the book has taken, um, you know, I mean, I started it in 2010. It's taken, taken a while to... to